As you draw towards the end of running a growing leader's course, there are a range of things it's worth thinking about. The first is to recognise, of course, it's not the end. You don't just grow leaders over a 10 or 8 month period, it takes a lifetime. And having that mentality right from the start is a great help as you approach the end of the course. What I want to suggest is this. There are a range of things you can do to help the end of the course go well and to ensure ongoing leadership development for all those who've been through it. So let me offer you a few suggestions. The first thing is, if you've got the time, and it does take time, but it is time well spent, meet one-on-one -on -one with everyone who's been through the course to explore what their next leadership development step might be. We've put a range of resources on the web, uh, you can find them under the subscription only pages, that can give you ideas about how to do that well. But that one-on-one -on -one investment is so important because people are looking for their next step and if you can encourage them to take it, it'll ensure the course has comes to a good conclusion. Then, we want to encourage you to run another course. Because leadership development is an ongoing part of the life of a church, not a one-off event. And those who have been on the course will make great mentors for the next course. And one of the best ways to integrate learning into your life is to teach others. So if they become mentors for the next lot, you'll find that they'll be able to really deepen and develop the stuff that they've been through for themselves. Thirdly, develop a resource library. A whole range of resources, maybe books that you think are really worth reading on leadership, uh, CDs or talks that people can listen to or watch, uh, develop a, a range of MP3s that people can borrow to listen to, a whole range of resources that can actually encourage people to keep on learning, keep on growing, and be sure to add to that resource library as time goes on. The next thing that might be worth doing is thinking through how you can use the plethora of materials that are already on websites all over the world. Podcasts, for example, like the ones we have on our own website. Uh, talks that are given by others in other parts of the world on leadership. One of the keys to going on learning as a leader is to be around leaders. And in this web-based age, we can get around leaders in all sorts of creative ways. And finally, it's worth taking some time to think through how can you actually ensure that those who have been growing as leaders are taking significant leadership responsibility, putting into practice what they've learned? There'll be a variety of different places they may do that. Some of that will be outside of the life of the church when we're gathered, but in the life of the church when we disperse, Monday to Saturday, in work, in occupation, in charity, in home, in club, in social gathering. But there are likely to be some ways that that can happen in the life of the church as well. So don't just abandon people to their present role, continue to develop them for roles in the future as well. All these things will help us to ensure that growing leaders is something that runs throughout the life of our church as a value, not simply as a course. Because we're committed to seeing people develop a lifetime of leadership. And one of the ways that we will embed that value into our churches is to make sure that we're modelling it ourselves as leaders. So one of the questions for us to reflect on as we come towards the end of a course is, how am I growing as a leader? Because if we keep growing, others will continue to grow around us.